Hello, this is Warlord. Right now we're going to take a look at a new feature uh, introduced in iClone 5.4 update and it is the prop animation layer. And this layer is pretty cool and it allows us to go back and get new life on some of the old props. We'll now be able to go ahead and animate these props pretty much as we animate characters to some degree. So let's go ahead and take a look and we'll use a prop that everyone should have, the RoboDog prop. So we'll load the prop up, and over here you will see a new button, Edit Animation Layer. So let's turn him sideways. Now one thing if you'll remember about this is it always had its own kind of perform actions and things like that. In other words, like two feet stand. Well now we can come to the end of that stand. If you wanted to do something else, we can go into the Edit Animation Layer. If we wanted to wag the tail, we just grab that bone twist it or move it however we want and of course move down the timeline now these are things you'd want to take a little more time than I'm doing right now but as you know with cut and paste we can go in and cut and paste those keyframes and have that tail wagon fairly easy we can also come in here and pretty much do any bone that we want to look at or change it's really neat now not all props are bone driven but the ones that are, this is going to add new life to it, as I was saying earlier, because we're going to be able to use these things more than just what was baked into it. Even a lot of my older props that have baked in animations, well, some of them will be able to uh, go ahead and do whatever you want it to by being able to either move the parts or move the bones. And, of course, this all blends rather well. You can come into the timeline and change all of this. And we don't want to get curves. The curves are going to be available. And there's your new animation layer. Here's the keys we were just adding in. These keys right in here. And of course you want to again take more time than this. But you could come in and just change your animation curves. Uh, I don't even know if that's probably not even proper curve for all of them, but it'll give you some idea. And that's all there is to it. You just go into the edit animation layer and you can click directly on the bone, or if you want to, you can drill down to it. 